Hey guys, baby White here, and I'm super happy. I just won Urgent 2K doing this. So someone posted on the group. He made this, and he asked that someone, um, if anyone could do it um, before 10 p.m. today, that he was going to give the person 2,000. And when I say 2,000, I mean in naira. So that's that's like less than four dollars. Um, so I decided to challenge myself, yeah, not because of the money, but I, I won the money, okay, so I decided to challenge myself to do this and uh, it wasn't easy, it honestly wasn't easy, but at the end I was able to achieve it and so I have been asked to make a tutorial doing this, so without wasting much of your time, I'm just going to do this in a very short time, three minutes. All right, so let's get into it. First off, what I did was to draw my shapes. So I had like all of my shapes. I had all my shapes drawn with the pen tool. I actually used the pen tool to draw all of this. And then I had like my my balls that will be going around it. I also gave it like a radial um, color effect. And yes, that was basically it. After doing this, all I needed to do was to duplicate some more frames which you would see that I've done here. So I decided to take them from angles to angles. So taking the ball from here, I moved, I duplicated the frame and took it to this point, moved it from this point to this point, and then I moved this other one to this point. I duplicated the frame again, and then I moved the, the ball from this point because I wanted it to have like an end-to-end -end view, um, no stoppage in between. So I, I moved it from this point to this other point over here and then I did the same thing um, over here as well and then I brought it back to this point and also same just same process and yes I had to end it at the beginning point um, if you remember the beginning so that's how animations um, work for animators so you have to loop it back to the starting point and that was what I did the next thing I did was to um, prototype, so click on a frame, go into prototype and then what I used, which I know a lot of persons will be asking was, I moved the frame to this point and after moving it, I used a this code, after delay, I used after delay and I changed this to one millimeter, millisecond, I changed this from is in a uh, linear to gentle and i left it at 900 millisecond and at smart animate so i also did the same thing for the rest of it so i used the same code for the rest of the frames um if you check here i did the same thing 900 one millisecond after delay gentle smart animate i did it for the rest of them and then at the at the end i brought it back to frame two uh, which is this frame over here. I brought it back to frame 2 with the same um, records, okay? Uh, 1 millisecond after delay, smart animate, gen 2, and 900 millisecond. And that was that was it, guys. Very easy, very easy. If you still want me to break this down again, I'm going to break it down, but just go over it. It's very simple. And after this, all I needed to do next was play my prototype. So once I played it, I, it took me over here and there you have it guys I'm going to show you just exactly how it is so this is it um, moving from end point to end point and this was achieved or more achievable because of the one um, millisecond after delay that I added to it and so guys that is it that is how you go ahead creating your video so first um, creating a prototype um, for bouncing balls. So first off, all you need to do is create the composition Change their position to get back to the starting point and then prototype Okay, so the prototype again is after delay one millisecond Smart animates gen 2 and then 900 millisecond you could try other things and let me know how it works out for you if you happen to do this you can tag me to your video um and yeah shout out to uh, femoski he was the one that posted this on the group 
and thank you for the 2k even though i haven't received a lot yet <laughs> if you love this video guys leave me a like and please subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next one thank you